What a great atmosphere. But Courtney Banghart, the coach for North Carolina, said it doesn't matter if NC State is struggling. This is a huge rivalry game right off the bat. Jada Boyd couldn't get it to fall. And here comes North Carolina. Kayla McPherson, number 14, there she is, starting for the second straight time, is electric in a 22-point effort against BC. All she did was set a new career high, right, in her first start? Just her fifth game of the year had been hurt for a couple of years. The NC State starting lineup used to seeing this. Rivers making her eighth start of the season. Jaquia Brown-Turner, the only, and, I, and I, pardon me, Jada Boyd, were the only players back who had significant playing time last year. Only returning starter. This is a group that lost over 50% of their scoring and rebounding, and you can see for Carolina, they've had some injuries to hit them. But Kayla McPherson, you mentioned her, one of the more exciting players in the ACC. But there's Toddy going to work. And you just talked about her in the open, Kennedy Todd Williams. Had 15 points in the come-from-behind win last month in Chapel Hill against State. Eight of those points coming in the fourth quarter. And Turner can't get it to fall. And here comes Todd Williams. Deja Kelly, the leading scorer on this team. There's McPherson. It's going to love these moments. I mean, high energy, high excitement level, and just rises to the challenge. Both of her parents played basketball at Western Kentucky University. Gives them a lot of credit for helping shape her game. Johnson misses everything. Here's Deja Kelly. Fifth in the conference in scoring this year. Challenging Johnson. Good help defense by Boyd. You can see Diamond Johnson grimacing a little bit off of that ankle. She didn't quite have the lift that we're used to seeing her have on that shot. Still being hampered by that injury. And at times you can see her favor that shot clock dying for Kelly. Puts it up and in. Deja Kelly is just so dangerous in that mid-range. She can get the shot off. She can elevate over defenders. They're 0 for 5 so far in this game. Look at 1 for 6 is Rivers, the South Carolina transfers. Honestly, this has been really hard on him this season. Yeah, it has. And, you know, I appreciate his honesty and really just communicating, you know, how tough it has been as Deja Kelly gets two again. You know, they're, they're used to having a really veteran team full of, full of great leaders, everyone understanding their role, everyone being consistent in terms of how they play and, and coming to play. And this has just been a different year. As Jakia Brown-Turner. You mentioned NC State before, impactful people, not just as scorers, but as leaders. Inside, Anya Poole gets her first basket, did not play in their last game. Took a hard fall on her shoulder against Syracuse, so sat out their big win against Boston College. Brown Turner showing some aggression. McPherson over Johnson. They're going to let her know she missed it all. Courtney Banghart in her fourth year was the National Coach of the Year in 2015 when she was back at Princeton. Was there for a dozen years. Took them to eight NCAA tournaments. Bobby, who has been backing up Elisa Kunane. Sometimes when you've had a collective group that's been together for so long and they all graduate, everybody else is trying to figure out who that leader is. Who is it going to be? And no one has taken the reins of it yet. All Usby did in the first game. <laughs> did 18 rebounds. That's it. I mean, you got to find a way to, to get 18 more rebounds. Diamond Johnson. Bobby corrals it. Working hard, got it stripped away by Deja Kelly. All the fans in red wanted a foul call. Uh, Step through y what you reference, that's what they're missing. And you think about this junior class and, and that really has grown up together in this system with Courtney Banghart and now having to learn how to play with some different pieces. But you know what, when, when you get this this opportunity to, to play through adversity. It really prepares you for postseason. Isaiah James, NC State, according to Charlie Cream, will be a seven seed and make the tournament. Underneath, that's going to be a foul on River Baldwin. Tiani Key on the line, started against BC in their last game. It's Miami against Louisville. 
It's Duke and NC State on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. And right now, Duke is down 43-24 at Virginia Tech. And NC State takes the lead. Tim, I like it when it's an aggressive Jakea Brown-Turner on the floor. When started knocking down a three-point shot, has gotten to the rim a couple of times as well. James! Six-nothing run. Snapped with Deja Kelly's shot. Diamond Johnson off the floor now taking a rest. Here's Rivers. Hit on the hand by Paulina Paris. Coming out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Did not get a lot of playing time. The Brown Staley said needed to improve her defense to get more playing time. And, and there's so many people on that South Carolina roster. So deep and so talented. And Rivers transferring back to her home state. And shot clock is off now for Deja Kelly. Dribbles around a double team. Todd Williams left it short after a fast start for North Carolina. NC State closing on a nice run. And you know her well. Chastity Melvin, yes. Coach Chastity Melvin when I was with the Chicago Sky. I think she's in the house today. I saw her running around. <laughs> a lot of great players were shown right there. Tracy Reed was a teammate of mine with the Charlotte Steam. Great player for Carolina. One of the great rivalries, no matter what sport these two universities play. Pam Ward and Steph White joining you from Sold Out Reynolds Coliseum. North Carolina throws the ball away to start things off. NC State won three in a row in the series. North Carolina had a big fourth quarter to win last month. By James. Her third basket. Coach Moore wanted to shut down North Carolina's transition game, which can be so dangerous. Done a good job of it lately. Paris finally gets the first three of the game for the Heels. Good positioning. A River Baldwin couldn't get it down. Todd Williams somehow was able to get that shot away, even though Rivers was all over it. She just does such a good job of using her pivots. She's on balance. She doesn't get rushed. She works that pivot until she finds an outlet. Now we hear people in the building yelling for a travel call, but she's keeping that foot down. Mimi Collins, the well-traveled. And she stayed her third school, started off at Tennessee, then a couple years in beautiful College Park, Maryland. Kelly, no Peter Diamond. And again, attention to detail in that scout. That is really good defense. And Madison Hayes going the other way. Still only down two. McPherson kicking it over. Adams, there's their second three of the evening. After a career high 22, she was brilliant against Boston College. Adams brings it down, looks for a ball handler, and Deja Kelly can't handle the ball. Still continuing to, to work back into what it means to play game shape in a season. So sometimes fatigue setting in, sometimes the moment setting in, but I believe she's going to figure it out. Yeah, she is a tremendously talented basketball player. Brown Turner, who's been quiet for a little bit, going to have an opportunity to shoot free throws. Right after that, follow that with Clemson and Louisville. Stretch run. Trying to separate the contenders from the pretenders. And the pool back in the game. Number 31 for North Carolina. Shot clock winding down. Seen a lot of shot clocks going very deep for North Carolina thanks to the NC State defense. I could have thought about it. Bobby, terrific pass and a better move to get the shot off. 
Hey, you're absolutely right. That was a great move by Camille Hobby. Working on her master's degree, loving college experience. Great student athlete. Oh, a little back off of Dish Kelly. That's all she needed. Yep, and that's a breakdown right there. That's a breakdown. Madison Hayes did not continue over the top of the screen. Trying to get it inside. McPherson knocking it down, and then she herself is knocked down at midcourt. There you see eight and six so far for her. Opportunity for Carolina to take the lead. Harris, the freshman, all the way to the cup. What this does is it allows Courtney Banghart to build her depth. Paulina Paris getting more minutes than maybe she would have before. Tayani Key as well. Donna Johnson gets two. Her first basket of the game. She had missed her first seven shots. Inside a minute, and it has been a very entertaining and close first quarter. What you would expect, Rivers with the look off. And then was fouled on her way to the basket. That would be North Carolina taking on number seven, Florida, right here, or not far from here in Chapel Hill. Pearson. Bob Williams, the reaching foul. I think they're going to get James. Married this year, more May threes in her first two years combined. You got to like that, right? Becoming more of a multi dimensional threat. McPherson in the open court on any fast break is terrifying. She's so fast, so fast with the ball, explosive. And now the shot clock is off for the pack. Rivers kicks it out, James. Now can do it, McPherson able to come up with the basketball and North Carolina takes a one point lead into the locker room for this NC State team that has had a tough season, falling out of the top 25 for the first time in five years. Andy Todd Williams getting things going, there's Kayla McPherson. Four points in the first half, but two of six from the floor, coming off a career high 22 against BC. Zelaya left open, and this time she knocks it down. Her first points of the evening. Shot clock winding down. Good defense. McPherson knocked it away, and that resulted in a desperation shot. I think this is a big defensive stand right here for, for NC State. It's a fifth turnover for State. McPherson. You can start to feel it a little bit right now. It's important right now to get a good possession and a stop. Diamond Johnson. Get something going. Jada Boyd attacks the basket. Boyd in the first half only took one shot. Went away for both summer sessions and at the last minute told Coach Moore she wanted to come back. She has done that. He was very understanding about it. Talked about he'd accepted a head coaching job at East Carolina. Went through the you know the interrupted press conference and then thought about it and changed his mind. He said, you know, it happens to everybody. So coach handled it well. He's the co sixth player of the year in the conference the last season. And before that Virginia game board had really been struggling with her shot. Kelly elevates so quickly. Stops on a dime and just pops it. Yeah, she really does. Jordan Boy. Kelly wisely 
That's a go out of bounds. Things much more difficult already early in the second half. They're going to score one point in the first four minutes of this quarter. Williams knocked away by Rivers. Kelly recovered. I'll tell you what, Alexander Zelaya is not afraid to pull that from out there, is she? Well, this is one of those opportunities again when you talk about building depth. So the game plan is to force Deja Kelly to get rid of the ball. Boyd again. Much needed three. Anya Poole is obviously daring Jada Boyd to take the game in Louisville. Locked up in overtime. Zelaya, Sunday afternoon. Liz Kittler with a double double. Georgia Amor. Amor, pardon me, also with 20 points. Baldwin, terrific river speed. That was just outstanding execution by NC State. They have struggled in this third quarter offensively. Maybe this is what they need to get them going. Meanwhile, Carolina's going over two minutes without a point. Todd Williams forcing it. And the outside shot nailed by Adams. Again, Destiny Adams, two for three from the three-point line in key moments in the first matchup, and that was another good shot. Kelly. Back to draw the charge, and now Todd Williams in one of the only leak outs. She missed the shot, but then River Baldwin fumbled the rebound. River Baldwin not able to come up with the board. How about two not top ten players <laughs> in the same <laughs> play? <laughs> Kelly, good defense there by Hayes. Shot clock. No shot because Kelly lost it. Now River's turn on the break. Sanaya. Adams, good play to tie her up. And the possession arrow gives the ball to the heels. And it was a three-point shot. So here we go, inside 30 seconds. Tonight Rivers fouled by McPherson as she went for the basketball. Coach Bang Hart wisely takes her out to finish the quarter. Well, check that, that was Paulina Perez called for the foul. McPherson ooh, could take a breath. Pardon me. That foul was on Paris, not McPherson, so McPherson still with a couple. And now State holding it for the final shot. At least that's the plan. Maddie Hayes off the rim. And North Carolina outscoring NC State 14 to 8 in that quarter. Point for seeding in the NCAA tournament as well. Getting into that top four. Amy Collins starts things off well in the fourth quarter. Her second bucket, and really for NC State to be successful, Diamond Johnson has to be a double-figure scorer. Yeah. Playing on that bum ankle. Kelly, oh my, that back going in. What a shot by Deja Kelly. Well, I think she got fouled too, Pam. Balls and points for her, who's Diamond. Let's see how stagnant offensively. Not a lot of movement, ball movement, player movement. It's sticking in players' hands. James trying to force things. Shot clock again. And there's one and a half seconds left. Pitt and Virginia Tech at 5 Eastern fall. That will come to the Louisville. All that on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. 
Eddie Hayes missed them both. Harris. Brandon Johnson, nice bounce pass into Boyd. And another foul. As a team, 5 of 11 from the line. And when you are a team that struggles to score, you've got to be able to make your layups and your free throws. Boyd, one out of two, has five points on the evening. Six-point advantage. McPherson, I think, is the fastest person in this building, probably. ACC Women's Basketball and the ACC Network and the ESPN app. I wonder how Muppet's doing after the, NCC, the uh, Notre Dame-Louisville game. So we'll get some great stuff from them. Duke beaten by Virginia Tech. Lots, lots to look forward to on Nothing But Net. And that was Jakia Brown-Turner's first field goal attempt of the second half. A couple of years ago, Jakia Brown-Turner was a unanimous First team all ACC performer, honorable mention of All American, averaging 13 and a half points per game, and the scoring has gone south for her ever since. And she stayed able to set up some full court pressure. It's one-on-one, -on -one, it's over-dribbling, it's trying to make something out of nothing instead of letting the offense work. Nice. Deja Kelly off the bounce. Ten-point lead, biggest of the night for Carolina, and Wes Moore has seen enough. What a weekend. Oh, man. Great stuff going on. But you know, it was like 80 degrees here today. Yes, it was nice. Gonna cool off a little bit over the weekend for hockey. Boyd, two of four from the line tonight. Week from tonight, another Thursday night women's basketball doubleheader right here on the ACC Network and the ESPN. You know, they, they have games where it just doesn't move and they can't knock down shots. And it's hard to knock down shots if you're trying to generate it all on your own. Crowd certainly trying to get State back into the game as we hit five minutes left in the fourth. JBT. Collins, terrific rebound, and then she got fouled again. Mimi Collins has given them some good minutes here in the fourth quarter. Collins, a redshirt junior from Waldorf, Maryland. And now some pressure. Rivers stole it. Took it all the way to the basket. Offensive rebound and another tie up. Freshman Paris with the inbound. Kelly easily got it over the timeline. And they're going to keep coming at her. Johnson, here's a three on one. Rivers couldn't handle it, but was able at least to pull it back out. Long three, just tipped the rim. Tough night for Johnson. Harris decided to attack the basket and was fouled. And she went yeah, for it. she sure did, and, and she did a really good job right there of splitting the D. Yes. 
into double figures now. Paris was the ACC Rookie of the Week a couple of weeks ago. McPherson last week, Carolina the only team in the ACC with two separate people as Rookies of the Week. NC State has missed 10 of its last 11 shots. That one went in for Boyd. A good screen by Jakia Brown-Turner gives Jada Boyd just enough time. Power dribble, finish in the other side. And also the opportunities at the foul line allow NC State to continue to set this pressure. Nice foul on Adams, but Mimi Collins does it again. Another hustle play. And Boyd waited patiently. found a little bit of space and that little quiet would have become a very loud arena. The patience, the poise. NC State made their run. They scored. Courtney Banghart not panicking on the sideline. Deja Kelly knows. Give me the ball. I'll get to my spots and knock down the shot. Collins nailed it. What a second half for Mimi Collins. Tarheel's going to stay with this middle screen right here with De for Deja Kelly. Yes, you got to get up. Got to force her to use it. <laughs> Kelly with the ball fake, then Rivers with the block, and now Sanaya Rivers beat on the on-ball screen, but uses her length, is able to get the hand on the ball. That is a terrific individual defensive effort. So it was North Carolina that had to come from behind win when they played in Carmichael last month. NC State trying to flip the script tonight. A lot of contact. No foul called on the shot. But they got one on the rebound. A month ago. Harris. The, the rookie does it again. How good has Paulina Paris been? Kelly yes. Banghart calls her number and she goes to work. And the answer. Now Turner's first points of the second half. Cool. Block by Collins. Follow good. Cool stuck with it. With a minute six to go. That's going to put Carolina in the bonus. All right now, NC State needs a stop. McPherson getting it inside. Collins with the ball. Now turn for three. Two huge threes for Brown Turner. One point game. NC State's not fouling. They finally do. You think a few seconds too late? Yeah. Well, you got to get this rebound. Amy Collins, eight points in the fourth. Boyd with seven. Brown Turner with six. And it's NC State basketball. Here we go. A two to tie, a three to take the lead. Hammer. James ties it. No 
North Carolina with the basketball. The freshman Paris inbounds from in front of the Wolfpack bench. Here's McPherson, the fastest player on the court. It's taken away by James. Her miss, Tania Rivers couldn't handle it. It's North Carolina basketball. What a defensive play. Isaiah James gets a hand on the ball and great hustle by Deja Kelly to get a fingertip on it. I mean, that is a terrific hustle play by Kelly to get back in the play. But Deja Kelly is going to get the ball in her hands in some way, shape, or form. There's Deja. Made the great defensive play to stop the breakaway layup. Harris inbounds. Too tall for Key. Now they switch defensively. What they're going to do, have the bigs low, the guards high. I would anticipate them switching all of this. Brown Turner into the key. Rivers couldn't hang on to it. And we are going to overtime. The bonus basketball coming your way from Raleigh in this terrific rivalry. It's the way it should be between these two, but what a great fourth quarter for the pack. And they look like they were done. NC State gets the basketball first. Brown Turner with 15, including two ginormous threes in the fourth quarter. Two big threes by Brown Turner. Mimi Collins was terrific in the fourth quarter as well. On both sides of the ball. Yes. James forcing it up and it went in somehow. Kennedy Todd Williams, bottled up by Boyd. Pop pop winding down, Kelly off the back rim. Rivers with another big board. Brown Turner. in the digits again. Kelly desperately looking for someone and there's nobody there to rebound it except the pack. 22 to 7 run for NC State since they fell behind by 10. ABT, why not? That one was a little short. McPherson grabbing onto her calf after the rebound. Has dealt with a couple of leg injuries. And McPherson now on the bench. And that's big between her and Deja Kelly. They were able to break this NC State pressure. So now one primary ball handler in Deja Kelly. Destiny Adams came in for McPherson. They got a hurry, they threw it away. So they lose the extra ball here, and it turns into two points for James. Under two to go. Kelly hit. Misses the first free throw. Missed them both. Kelly gets to the line a lot, almost seven times a game on average. That was her first trip tonight, and she missed them both. And now the clock is NC State's best friend. Outscoring Carolina 7-0 in this overtime. Rivers charges with just over two seconds. Westmore wanted the on-ball screen. Rivers wasn't able to use it, didn't like the spacing. And then the turnover. Now some pressure to take some more time off the clock. Kelly saw a little bit of an opening and charged in there, but it's called a block. Yes, Jakia Brown-Turner. And that is her fifth. Kelly right back to the line.
North Carolina's first point of the overtime. James, as we go under a minute to go, and a foul called. Destiny Adams thought she had a clean steal. Again, you go back to the challenge for, for NC State is to still get some kind of movement while you're trying to, to utilize the clock. James, one out of two. And if you're Carolina, you want to keep putting pressure on this defense, keep attacking the rim. You're getting opportunities at the foul line. Well, Kelly left it well short. To get it in, you can expect a foul, but there's the touchdown pass, and James has dropped it off. Kelly. McPherson. Two straight air balls. Kelly with the grab. This Wolfpack ball club has been tremendous. And keep in mind, they're doing this without the services of Diamond Johnson. Really limited with the leg. And the NC State Wolfpack make another trip to the foul line. But what a win. Probably very few people thought that they had a chance. Since then, they have outscored North Carolina by 21 points. Played a tough schedule. Their net is at 17. They've been up and down. They're out of the top 25 for the first time since 2018. They could very easily, when they were down 10, have folded. And they didn't. Back was against the wall. They came to play. They stepped up to the challenge. Harris finally gets the first field goal of the overtime for Carolina. But North Carolina, Adams fouls again. Can you imagine what the tournament's going to be like? It's going to be so much fun right now. She has been terrific down the stretch and in overtime. And then she got the rebound. people on Hillsboro Street tonight. What a fourth quarter, or well, the last four minutes of the fourth quarter, and overtime for the pack.